Welcome to another edition of Cheers to Careers. I am Steve Ridinghouse, the career outreach coordinator at the School of Journalism and Mass Communications at KU. Hello and welcome to another edition of Cheers to Careers. Today I'm joined by Jordan Warren, a field copywriter at Barclay. Welcome, Jordan. Thank you. And I know Jordan, she's a KU journalism alum. Um, I think you've been at Barclay for 18 months. Mm -hmm. That had to be pretty close to kind of the height of the pandemic. So what was that transi transition like joining Barclay? Um, it was a really exciting transition. Um, I had graduated from KU Journalism School in 2014 and basically have been like trying to make my way into a creative um, field and so wanted to join Barclay and really get to work on some really fun clients and so it was very exciting. Um, it was joining remotely but now we've opened up our offices. We're kind of like hybrid remote and um, it's really fun to be in a really cool creative space with other coworkers now. So you talk about clients. Are you able to say who some of those fun clients are? Um, yes, <laughs> I can. Um, I am on LL Flooring and um, recently just joined the Red Lobster team. And what's it like working with multiple clients? I mean, how do you kind of maintain your creative focus? I actually thrive on multiple <laughs> clients. It gives me a break from one uh, to switch over to the other. There's a different tone of voice. There's a different strategy. There's different look and feel. So it's really, really fun and exciting to kind of switch it up as well as to switch up like what you're writing for. So I write for emails and paid social and banners and you know little website stuff. So it's all just different and varied, and I really like that. Now writing. Is that something you always grew up wanting to do professionally? Because didn't you change majors? I did. You did? Yes. Um, so what was that process like? So <laughs> I'll answer it a little bit because you started with like, what did I did okay. I originally want to do? I had no idea growing up what I wanted to do. Like you could ask me every other day and I'd tell you something different. Um, I did love writing. Um, I remember distinctly a fifth grade teacher being so frustrated that I wrote a 20 page paper in fifth grade. Um, it was double space, so like it wasn't so long, but um, that was really exciting and I liked to you know write the stories in English class, um, but I didn't think of it as a career option and um, I was actually really good at math, so I'm like this weird creative who can do math. Um, and I decided to go into engineering when I first joined KU. Um, so I was an engineering major for about a year and a half, tried out a little bit of the different disciplines there, but I just wasn't finding something that I loved and I took the Journalism 101 class and got really excited about this, so went ahead and switched over. So were you able to still finish in four years? Yes. Wow, that's impressive because I know sometimes when you transfer, because um, you said you did that a year and a half? Yes. Afterward? Okay. Yep. And when you were at KU, what, what were you involved in? I think Ad Club for sure, I bet. Yep, Ad okay. Club. Um, I believe I spent a little bit of time on the PRSSA board, okay. um, just kind of helping run their meetings and things like that. Um, and then I joined the women's ultimate Frisbee team, Betty Ultimate, my sophomore year. But by the time you're done at KU, you're pretty confident that writing was going to be your career? Yes, okay. yes. So um, back when I graduated in 2014, I think that's like two curriculums ago for the STRATCOM discipline. Um, it was very you know, research focused. We had a really good foundational basis in journalistic writing, which I loved. Um, and we got to do you know, a few mock-up ads and PR you know, releases and things like that. But I knew I wanted to delve right into the creative side of things. And I think I noticed too at Barclay on your LinkedIn profile, you're part of the mm -hmm. DEIB Advisory yes. Council. Yes. How important is that to you? Um, very important. Um, I sit on it as you know someone with blonde hair and slightly blue eyes, but I see it as an opportunity to learn. Um, for myself. I still play Ultimate Frisbee and I have a lot of friends who are a part of the LGBTQIA community. So that's kind of where I um, sit on that council as an ally as well as someone who is willing to learn and help um, Barkley as well as the greater community grow and be more accepting and welcoming to all. So is that council, is it kind of geared more towards like your, your employees? I mean, when they they're on board, you make them aware that this council exists? Yes. Okay. Yeah, it's, um, so I think like the first start of it was definitely out of, you know, the need that came with shining a light and putting a magnifying glass up to all of our workplaces in 2020 with the pandemic, um, as well as, you know, what happened culturally with shootings and wrongful convictions and things like that. So we 
formed this council. We now sit on it and try and represent all of Barclay. And now we're even trying to make um, sure that our clients are aware of the issues that they need to be aware of so that they're not alienating a vast group of consumers for their brands. No, well said. And um, kind of back to your writing, all the different writing you do, have you kind of figured out what type of writing you like to do the most? Probably like not. No, I, I love the variation. Yeah. Um, I'm curious right now to delve into poetry. Like, I almost wish I would have taken more poetry classes in school. So I'm kind of trying to do that as independent study now that I'm out of school. <laughs> um, but yeah, just anything and everything because it gives you that little bit of a break that then you go back to what you're kind of like tasked with doing, whether that be emails or a paid social post. And then you're able to pull from all of those very various forms of writing um, to make it even better. And I know writing is definitely the core of the J School. Um, have you been able to use, what, what have the skills you've been able to use since you graduated, what, almost eight, nine years ago? Yeah, I think first and foremost, the ability to go find answers. Like, I know that that even sounds a little bit more, you know, traditional news and information or um, broadcast, but what we learned to go find that information helps me daily, even to this you know, moment. I was just asked um, on a call today of like, how do I know that this paid Facebook headline and LinkedIn or linked description are necessary for a paid social post? And I'm like, oh, well, I've gone to the page to find <laughs> out all of that information and found the very specific amount of characters that I'm allowed to write for within that headline and within that link description. And I think that ability to go research and find answers is hugely helpful as a writer. And um, was there a certain class that, and you talked about that first mm -hmm. class you took at KU, were there other classes that really ignited you that you haven't forgotten? I took one of the first instances of social media. Oh, wow. So it was, yeah, the, one of the first semesters that it was offered. And that was interesting. Like, we didn't have that as a class before it. And I just signed up as quickly as possible. And it was very eye-opening to what was necessary. And now that's the department I sit in. We all create purely for the digital side of brands. And that's why it's called Fuel. We fuel the brands Anna. digitally. <laughs> <laughs> and did you think back then social media was going to be that force it is today? Or did you think, ah, it's just kind of a... I did. I remember I, I went to like the career fair and I, I wasn't sure exactly where I wanted to go specifically as far as my first job. Mm -hmm. And so I was saying like, oh, I'm interested in social media positions and I'm interested in copywriting positions. And what was interesting is that even back then, the cr recruiters weren't sure right. about all of this. So they were basically asking, you know, um, what no, I needed to pick something and I needed to almost like stick my stick in my lane, find something right. and stay. And I'm so glad I didn't because this entire department now exists within Barclay and I'm a part of it. Nice. Yeah. And what um what advice would you have to say to those students or what seven months away from May commencement? Mm -hmm. Um for those students that are trying to find that first job or maybe an internship, what advice would you have for them? I would say it is not the end of the world if you don't have a job. Um, I actually, because I spent a year and a half as an engineering student and then came into the J School, I actually had a job throughout college that I went to in my breaks. So my winter break and my summer break and even my spring break, I worked at Commerce Bank. I was in their IT department and I helped reset passwords. Um, <laughs> what that taught me was, you know, ability to talk on the phone and to talk to people when they're feeling, you know, frustrated and things like that. But um, I went to graduate and I didn't have a job. And so I applied to the Commerce Bank marketing internship. And that was completely fine. Like they accepted me as a graduate into the internship program. Um, and then from there, you know, I just tried to find any opportunity to learn and grow. And so I joined the professional KAC ad club, um, very similar to KU's ad club. And that's a good point. I mean, what about kind of that networking component to help find an internship or job? How important is that? It is very important. Um, I wish that, you know, nepotism wasn't there and that you didn't have to know right. people to get in. Um, I think that it's important for everyone to 
even just reach out to someone on LinkedIn. My favorite piece of advice is cold message them and ask them to have a virtual coffee meeting. Um, find someone that you are inspired by that maybe worked on some work or creative that you really, really liked and just ask them for a 15 minute coffee meeting and talk to them about it. Like how did they navigate their career or what did they find very interesting about that work? Um, just start a conversation there and you're guaranteed to get a LinkedIn connection who then might remember you whenever there is an open opportunity. Yep. Yeah, well, so that's definitely something we try to communicate to our students to make those connections and um, that will help with the process. Well, Jordan, hey, I appreciate you dropping by the studio today. Of course. It's um, been fascinating to see what you've been doing since you graduated and your time at Barclays. So cheers to cheers. your careers. Thanks, Jordan. <laughs>